Hey everyone, Jose Otero here for IGN, and this is the spring update to our top 25 3DS games of 2016. Want to know which game clocked in at number one? Then let's get started. As an RPG, Yokai Watch mostly fumbles its battle system and creates a relatively passive experience, but it also presents an adorable and compelling world. The low difficulty ultimately works in its favor. Yokai Watch is a kids' game that doesn't talk down or sugarcoat its darker themes to them. Starfar 64's upgraded visuals reinvigorate classic Nintendo 64 era polygons. Its memorable yet silly voice acting, great level design, and pacing make it a stunning trip through fantastic dogfights in outer space. Shin Megami Tensei 4 is an epic dungeon crawler by Atlas that features monster collecting, high-tech equipment, and a group of teenage samurai forced to navigate a dark, brooding world. It's a darker, more mature game that is definitely worth a try. The Legend of Zelda Triforce Heroes is more than just a fun co-op diversion. It's a challenging adventure game full of great puzzles and chaotic fun in local multiplayer. Limited communication tools make it difficult to play with adventurers online, but everywhere else, it's a success. Resident Evil Revelations brought the series back to its creepy atmospheric roots. But bringing the eerie feeling back to Resident Evil was only the start. This is the first portable blockbuster for the Nintendo 3DS. Fantasy Life is a fun blend of life simulation and RPG that offers a plethora of activities and fun ways in which to do them. Its kooky characters, silly humor, and incredibly addictive gameplay kept us fishing and foraging for hours. SteamWorld Heist has charming characters, addictive combat, and its Firefly-style adventure made every battle a blast. Outside of some annoying instances of post-battle maintenance, you'll rarely feel the need to power down these robots. Don't be fooled by Pushmo's cute and colorful visuals. Intelligence Systems eShop Puzzler starts off friendly enough, but as you progress through the 250 plus stages, you'll be finding a surprisingly deep collection of genuinely brain-breaking puzzles. By sharing user-created puzzles via QR codes, community members can make it the puzzle game that almost never ends. Boxboy builds a smart puzzle platformer out of a simple premise. Like any good puzzle game, it tosses lots of variety on top of an easy-to-learn idea, in this case revolving around a plain-looking living box that turns into more boxes. But what makes it a great game is how well the collection of puzzles comes together for over 100 stages and beyond. In SteamWorld Dig, you power up a robot hero by finding and collecting hidden gems, opening up a sprawling game map as you progress. The genius twist is that you explore the environment by mining into the earth itself, building your own unique in-game map filled with tunnels, mine shafts, teleporters, and more. Just when you think the fight is over in Monster Hunter 4 Ultimate, the next challenger steps in and ups the level of competition. It's a satisfying action RPG that adds enough new creatures, weapons, locations, and fighting moves to pull you in for hours at a time. Showcasing exceptional new ideas along with refined concepts from Square's golden age of RPGs, Bravely Default is a reminder that Japanese RPGs have unique flair and vision. If you've never experienced the job system from Final Fantasy fame, get ready for one of the best character customization systems in the genre. New Super Mario Bros. 2 is the first genuine shakeup for this nostalgic platforming series, with a get rich or die trying approach that's surprisingly fresh, but still delivers the same reliable fun. Luigi's Mansion Dark Moon is a fully fledged sequel that reunites everyone's favorite green clad hero with Professor Egad and the Poltergust. Dark Moon has the same hilarious tone of the first game and gives players a solid portable experience. The beauty of Mario Golf is that anyone can pick it up and learn how to play. World Tour builds up skill through simplicity and packs in excellent challenges and multiplayer modes to keep you playing on the links for hours. The Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask 3D proves that interesting game design and strong world building never get old. 15 years later, it still delivers charming characters, tense moments, and a world rife with personality. Mario Kart 7 marks yet another great entry for Nintendo's kart racing franchise. It still offers enough innovation to keep this formula fresh, with memorable new tracks, well-implemented gyro controls, the triumphant return of coins, and a handful of new modes. 
Shovel Knight doesn't only understand what retro gamers want, it also understands what it is, copying plentiful inspiration from the past while forming it all into its own game. It lasts longer than your typical throwback, and all of that time is well spent. It plays brilliantly, looks stunning, and it sounds great. The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time 3D molded the 1998 Nintendo 64 original to fit a more modern, portable standard, sporting an updated visual style and a handful of gameplay tweaks split across two screens. Nintendo and co-developer Grezzo added a fresh layer of dimension to a game many already considered a masterpiece. Nearly every aspect of Super Smash Bros. for Nintendo 3DS seems fine-tuned to not only appeal to the nostalgia of longtime Nintendo fans, but also to be accessible to new players. Once they're hooked, it draws them in deeper with a set of great modes and tempting rewards. People will look back at Pokemon X and Y as the start of a possible renaissance period for Nintendo's popular franchise. It shook up the competitive metagame with the new fairy type and streamlined Pokemon's core system to make battling, breeding, and training more accessible than ever. Animal Crossing New Leaf turned half of IGN's editors into incoherent weirdos obsessed with collecting fruit, fish, and furniture. This is a game about collecting, arranging, and showing it off to friends and frenemies alike. Super Mario 3D Land isn't just another solid platformer for a Nintendo handheld. It's the first game on 3DS that successfully implements 3D as a meaningful part of gameplay. The result is a great game that best utilizes the platform it's built on. Fire Emblems came and went before, but Awakening is a special chapter in the series. On one hand, it offered a top-notch strategy RPG with fun characters, witty dialogue, and a deep battle system. On the other, it offered up dealing with difficult choices and the stress of permadeath. The end result is a stunning combination. The Legend of Zelda A Link Between Worlds takes us back in time with a follow-up to one of the most influential games from the Super Nintendo era. It's a nostalgic trip, but one that finds new ways to captivate players with fresh ideas and inventions. And there you have it, folks. That's the top 25 games on 3DS. Let us know what you think in the comments. And for more Nintendo coverage, keep it right here at IGN.